Hello and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create ban and the click command since it was requested by one of our subscribers in the Let's Go server. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. Alright everyone, so we're gonna open the data handler.js and let's create a new one, let's name it here, let's put ban command. So we're gonna put like this. Right, so the name is going to be ban description is gonna be uh ban members from the server and options uh, uh, let's put the name as target okay let me just put it that the type is gonna be user and the description is gonna be the target you want to ban. And required is gonna be true. All right. And to make the other one, the kick one, let me just make it right now real quick. Okay. Oh, let's make it like that. Actually, I have no idea. Let's let's just keep it like that for now. Uh, let me retype it. Right, I just want it to be synced. It's gonna be true. Now, if I start in the bot, I must see the slash commands here so kick as you can see kick here if i try ban it's here but actually if i did anything right now it will not work because i didn't actually handle it so let's actually handle it together all right so here we go uh slash commands moderation and let me create a new one bandlejs and uh, slash command here so the name here is going to be ban, let's start with ban, or actually let's start with kick, that should be easier. So uh, now let's, let's try two. Alright, so now we want to get the user, so const uh, user equal uh, interaction, also I forgot to mention about the client. So basically, uh, you need to go to uh, slash commands because sometimes you're gonna need uh, the client, of course. So you're gonna need to go to the handler, I mean, where is the handler? handler uh, events, interaction create. Here, you're gonna client, uh, slash commands of Tron, client, and then interaction. So we can use client, all right. So, let me now go back here and use it. So interaction dot options dot get user and school targets. So there we go. So uh, now we want to get the member. So uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna first check if he is in the server. All right. So cost uh or actually yeah let's let's do const member equal uh user or interaction dot guild dot members dot cash dot get 
user of ID. If no member, all right, I want to return interaction dot reply the member well, let me put an X here the member doesn't or the target doesn't exist in the cell much better All right so now uh, if he actually exists I want to ban him and also check if the bot can ban him because if the bot cannot ban him we'll get an error so I want to do interaction dot gold to get the gold and then uh, dot members interaction dot build dot members dot ban uh, and we got to put here the member all right and then some parameters such as let me show you now gold ban or gold member add member ban here we go you got the days how many days and the reason all right so i don't really want the reason for now but actually let, let me do something that might be quite good so let me go to the data handler i forgot to put in another option and let's put it as the reason all right so i'm gonna put here another one the name is gonna be reason uh, and the type is gonna be string description reason for banning and required not required actually all right so let me copy it and let me go here paste it and reason for kicking all right does it automatically update? Uh, that's my question. Or do I have to just get the ID and update it myself? Oh, it automatically updates, I guess. Yeah, it, it, uh, it's updated, good. So, now here, as you saw, so we're we gonna actually get the reason. So, const reason. Uh, or let reason let's use let, let reason equal interaction dot options dot get string and go the reason so if uh, if there is no reason all right if there is no reason I want the reason to be no reason provided all right and here i want to put the reason to be to be our main reason here all right or like let's let's name this like ban reason here we go so ban reason all right that should be so easy to understand let me await it as well for no reason i just want to await it uh, now i want to put a try and catch here basically uh, or actually let's just put dot catch uh, here um, message oops not message interaction dot reply uh, cannot ban the member and here I want to interaction dot reply 
successfully successfully banned a member or user dot tag. Uh, also, this is oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just make a ban for now. So let's now try it on the server. And let me put an X here. No dot. And I got an iter. Alright, now that I just changed the password, now I can run the bot. Connect it to database. Now, if I try to ban. Uh, also, let me let me use something because I didn't actually use the reason something. So let me just put here slash n reason is going to be ban reason. All right, there we go. Now let's try it. Slash ban and target. Let's put it as Mingra. Also, you can use IDs if you want. If you try to use an ID, it will work normally. And the reason it gonna be uh high. Let's see. Okay, we got an error. Let's check. Options of undefined. So the interaction is undefined. Wait, what? Let me check my and handler interaction create yes the second one oh uh i forgot i need to put it here as well this this is the command not in the context menu as you can see i just forgot i have to put it over here as well all right so now let's try to ban Mindra reason high ban okay interactor field what's the error now missing permission so the bot don't have permission to ban and that's what we we're trying to uh like here let me just put here try and catch so there is an error because the first one catch here didn't work because it's on this one and not on this one. Alright. And that's my bad. So let me just copy it from here, put it over here. And let me put return. No dot. Alright, so slash ban. Minra bot reason high ban cannot ban the member as you can see. Now let's move the boss roll above Minra bonds. Alright, or let me just give the bot actually the roll. There we go. Now if I try to slash ban Minra reason I'm gonna be high. There we go, the boy is banned now, Midrai doesn't exist anymore. Here, if I try to check here, as you can see, I cannot add or remove any, uh, any role that means the bot is banned, or like, out of the server, as you can see. So, now let me try again to ban, but... Let me actually ban this time simp. But without a reason, alright, I don't want a reason. <coughs> so it says cannot ban the member, so apparently there is something with simp in here. Alright, let me check. Probably has uh, more permissions. So, simp, what is wrong? Uh, I don't think it's bannable, that's why I got the editor. Oh, that, actually, let me check what is wrong. 
let me console the log better. Here we go. Slash ban. And where is the sun bot? Here we go. No reason. Oh, it just worked. Well, that's unfortunate. It just worked. Probably there was something with that. Uh, I don't even know. But one good thing that it just worked. So uh, here, we just banned without a reason. No reason provided, as you can see. So now let's make the kick one. It's just quite the same. All right. Let me create one here. Let's name it kick.js. Paste. And I'm going to name it kick. And just the variable name. I can just change this to kick reason. And I want to kick to be banned. Alright, that's, that's easy, right? Uh, I was successfully kicked. Alright, and cannot kick. That's all. Uh, let me show you the thing in here. To, so here, the kick. It only had the parameter as reason. Alright, so yeah, I have it reason. So yeah, I just made the kick command. Let's test it out. That's all. So if I try now to use slash kick and target is gonna be uh, Uber. All right, with the reason of oh. Okay, amazing. Just kick the ball. Now without a reason should do the same so far. So kick. Uh, I guess because we need all the bots, so I'm not gonna b kick another one with a like no reason. It's already worked on the ban. So that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to leave a comment down below what you want the next video to be. That's it, and ciao.